on lots of venues when I'm fishing for tension cruisions, I want a small amount of ground bait just to, around the feeder just to concentrate the fish. So today I thought I'd take a look at a very simple recipe which I use I would say 99% of the time for that style of fishing. So if you like these videos please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there'll be some more coming along soon. So the mix comes down to two ingredients really, it's very simple. It's the swim stim green and then some krill powder. And it's not the cheapest mix in the world, but the beauty of it is, is you, you need very, very little. I'm either going to be using it with a, a method feeder, a cage feeder, or very small nuggets in the margins. So it's not cheap, but you're going to use very little of it, so it goes a long, long way. And the mix is very, very simple. It's basically two measures of the swim stim green. So I normally use, there we go. Just a maggot tub to measure it out. So there we go, that's two measures of the swim stim, which is just a bag. And then one measure of the krill powder. There we go. And then what I normally do is put the lid on, give it a really good shake, just to mix them up really, really well. Because what you don't want is any lumps in the mix. There we go, job done. Now for the next part, you need to take a little bit of time and that's the mixing with the water. The last thing you want to do with any ground bait is add too much water, get it too wet because it will set like concrete. So get yourself a nice wide bowl. Again, we're not using very much, maybe only a couple of pints of ground bait in a day's fishing. So you don't need a massive bowl. Just something that's nice and, nice and flat bottomed and round so you're not going to get any lumps stuck in the corners and then very very slowly start adding your water and all the time keep the ground bait moving there we go still too dry so we keep adding a little bit more there we are but not too much you can always add more but you can't take it out and what I normally do is every so often I'll then try and break some of the lumps up. There you go, just by moving it in my hands. Swim stim is basically a pellet ground bait, so it can get a bit lumpy if you're not careful. So it pays to take your time with it. There you go, it's getting there. What I normally do is give it a good squeeze and see if it holds together. And it's getting there, it's nearly there. But it just wants perhaps a fraction more water in there. So we'll just give it a little flick. That's it, no more than that. Just to get it up to the right consistency. There we go. I'm not going to worry too much about the lumps. In fact, people do worry too much about lumps a lot of the time when they're fishing because when we filmed underwater, they do break down really quickly anyway. And now what I'm going to do is let that stand for about 10 minutes to fully absorb the water into the ground pellet. That's important because it will need a little bit more water just to finish it off once it's had that chance to soak in. So there we go. Ground bait's had a chance to soak that water in now and it's just very slightly dried out again. So what I'm gonna do is again, just add a tiny little bit more. Go okay, very, very gentle with it. There we go, that's all it needs. Give it another good mix. Again, rubbing it between your hands all the time just to help break down those lumps. And there we go, let's have a look. Yep, that's just about perfect. It's holding together nicely. So a lot of the time I'll be using this mix with a flat method feeder, um, especially if I'm fishing for cruisions, but it also works really, really well for tench. And when you know when you've got the mix right, you just fill your mould, push down with your method feeder and eject it. And there you go, perfectly loaded every time. And just keep an eye on the mix. Um, keep it out of the sun, like all ground baits, because they will dry out if you, uh, if you leave them exposed. And that's all there is to it. Perfect mix, very simple to make. That's brilliant for tension cruisions. Go out and give it a go.